Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today is Saturday. Today is not Saturday. <laughs> today feels like Saturday. Um, so today I'm off. Today's actually Thursday. Right now I'm making some coffee. I mixed together some instant coffee, sugar, and hot water. And then I have to stir it. I'll show you what it looks like. But right now I decided to vlog my day off because I plan on, I might go to Disneyland tomorrow, um, which is a rainy day tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. I've done a rainy day at Disneyland before, so, but I don't know, we'll keep you updated on that. I haven't been to Disneyland in a long time by myself, and so I miss it, so I might go, might not. I don't know, keep you updated. What else do I have going on? I have to edit a vlog um, that I can maybe put up today. That would be great. And then I have to finish watching on my block. I literally could have finished it last night. There's only eight episodes this season. I don't know how many there are in the last seasons. There's only eight episodes and I literally could have finished it. I'm on like episode six, but I decided to wait till today. So anyways, I'm gonna make some coffee, make something to eat. Just thought I'd say hello. I definitely wanna go to Target today. I wanna get a new phone case. They usually have really cute phone cases. So I'll take you when we go there. But I'm gonna mix this until it becomes fluffy and put it into my coffee. Um, and yeah, talk to you guys when something exciting's going on. Toodles. All right, update on my coffee. I filled up my cup of milk. You can do any kind of milk. I just use regular milk to the second line. And the mixture looks like this now. Um, it gets like super thick too. When you, if you keep beating it, it takes a minute or two, but it turns into this like thick consistency and you just plop it on top of the milk. I found this recipe on TikTok and it's so good. If you like coffee, you can put on hot milk, um, make like a hot drink. I haven't done that yet, but. I usually put it to some cold milk and put some ice in there, but I'm going to now put the mixture into my cup. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So I'll just plop it in there. I'll probably put the whole thing because I need it. I'm tired today. This tastes really good. And you basically just mix it from there. So I'm just gonna keep adding. I'm making a mess though, so I'll show you what it looks like after. All right, coffee is done. It looks something like this. It just looks like a coffee and it's so good. It's like amazing. I just added some ice to it. The best iced coffee I've ever made. Try it. Let me know how you guys like it. I literally found it on TikTok, the recipe. Um, okay, so I'm gonna edit some a video because I really want to edit a video and put it up for you guys Then I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna drink my coffee and then I'm gonna go upstairs and Lay in bed. It's a gloomy rainy day. It's not raining. It's just very overcast it Says it's gonna rain today and tomorrow and for like the next couple days But I think I'm just gonna lay in bed and watch on my block um, It's like 10 o'clock. So then we'll decide on what to have for lunch. I think I might go and get something for lunch. I don't know. I might treat myself to something. I don't know what I want. Mm. Okay, got editing to do. Talk to you later. Hey guys, so I was going to vlog today, but I decided to just because I wanted to talk about the coronavirus. I know that's crazy. Um... I don't know if a lot of YouTubers are talking about it, but I just want to talk about it and my experience with it firsthand and how it's affecting me and things like that. When I first heard about the coronavirus or like, I wasn't nervous. Even when I, when I heard it came to America, I wasn't nervous just because they were like, oh, it's only affecting people with like very strong, I mean, very weak immune systems or health issues. And I'm like, knock on wood, but I have a very strong immune system. I've never gotten the flu. I get sick maybe two or three times a month, I mean a year. And so I wasn't too worried. But then I went to work and everyone is freaking out. I work at a grocery store. I think a lot of people see, I don't know, for me, what I think it is, 
I think people should be very cautious of like, you know, washing your hands, all that stuff. But I think a lot of people, what it is and why people are like getting, you know, into fights over toilet paper is because people see people panicking they start to panic you see someone like buying 10 10 toilet papers all these canned goods you think you have to so i think that's what a lot of people are dealing with right now it's like they don't know if they should like react that way so they just sh they do just in case like oh maybe i will need these 10 cases of water and you know <sighs> i don't know i will go back and forth from like oh this is not that big of a deal people are freaking out for nothing to like okay maybe i should be concerned literally how it's kind of affecting me i have a disneyland pass and if you guys didn't know disneyland is closing for the rest of the month and <laughs> i don't know either to laugh or cry because that is just so disappointing literally when they announced it yesterday is the day that i got my money taken out from my monthly pass for disneyland i was like oh great <laughs> can't go for the month but they definitely charge me for the month but that's affecting me in that way but also my church where i grew up just announced that they are closing for the rest of the month my church and then i'm like okay maybe this is very serious i guess it's serious um and on top of that i was gonna go to a jonah's brother concert next month with some friends in vegas because they had a residency for like a month in vegas the jonas brothers i mean some friends were gonna go but that got canceled and we we're gonna get refunded for that i'm just like dang like maybe this is serious i don't know i go back and forth honestly i do think it's serious um i don't want to get it because i live with my grandma and she's in her like late 70s and that's my only concern right now like if i do get it making sure she doesn't get it because she is older but I'm not really too concerned. I don't know. It's just crazy how everyone's reacting. Let me know what you guys are dealing with. If you, I don't know, maybe we're in school. It got canceled. Maybe your work is like no more. I don't know. My work for sure is not going to close anytime soon because I work at a grocery store. And they're always open. Like I don't, I don't, they're not closing. I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Anyways, let me know what you guys is. <clears throat> How you guys are dealing with it if it's affected you let me know in the comments how so i'm curious i'm also curious if you guys are freaking out were you guys on like on the scale of this like are you guys pretty calm are you guys pretty freaking out are you guys gonna like self-quarantine like let me know what you guys are doing um if you are being quarantined and you're like have to stay at home i suggest i should suggest some shows <clears throat> Okay, so if you are at home and you're not allowed to leave and you're like, oh, I need some shows to watch on my block, number one. Number two, Gossip Girl. If you haven't seen Gossip Girl, just watch it. There's so many episodes. You, if you haven't seen You, are you okay? Love is Blind, if you haven't seen that. Uh, me and my mom got obsessed with that. Uh, let me suggest one more thing. Let's see. Oh, Spinning Out. If you guys haven't seen Spinning Out on Netflix, recommend that one as well. So, anyways, hopefully you guys stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face, all that good stuff. Let me know what you guys, how are you guys are dealing with this in the comments because I'm curious and I'll talk to you guys later. <coughs> Bye. Hello. I am wearing the same shirt that I wore to sleep in. Judge me. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. It's comfy. It's my favorite shirt. Um, anyways, so I've been cleaning my room on and off for the entire day. Um, I say on and off because I started, then I stopped, then I started watching on my blog. If you guys, I don't know if I talked about it on this vlog, but I've been seriously obsessed with on my blog. Um, I haven't been obsessed with like a cast or a series as much since I think High School Musical, the musical, the series when that came out and I was obsessed with that. I decided that I'm going to clean this half of my room and I'm going to show you organizing my uh, nightstand uh, yeah my nightstand uh, drawers because they're really unorganized and I don't remember the last time that I, unor I organized them so we're gonna organize, organize this side of my room and then tomorrow I think I'm gonna work on that half of my room so we're gonna do that right now 
I speed it up because it's super satisfying. And yeah. A pair of jeans, a shirt or two. We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back. It doesn't matter if it's true. I've got a feeling love will give us what we like. Is waiting up. The world is waiting half a step beyond our door. Yeah. And if it's not enough, I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store. Oh. I wanna take it all in. I'm falling. The cityscape by night. Wanna catch in my photos. Where you go? Every corner twice as bright. There'll be my treasures forever. When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights Ending the day with Frozen 2. Thank God for Disney Plus. <sighs> Literally so over cleaning. So I'm gonna watch this and go to bed. But you guys didn't know Disney um, Plus has Frozen 2 and it's a great movie. I've already seen it. <sighs> All right, good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs>